Hello and welcome to this video managing shared mailboxes using PowerShell and here in this video we are again going to use the PowerShell command lines to show you how you can manage your shared mailboxes even how you can create how you can assign permissions and also how you can remove the shared mailboxes with the help of command lines so let's connect with the PowerShell let's open the PowerShell and connect to the exchange online environment and if you are already connected to just check whether you are connected or not just run this command get dash mailbox and it will show you all the details of your mailbox and here you can see currently yet that you have two mailbox this JSS task fuser 2 and the teams and right now we are going to create the new mailbox for the shared environment and it is called the shared mailbox that allows multiple users to read and send messages from a common mailbox well for this purpose we are going to run the simple command that will explain itself and it is what the new dash mailbox dash name and this is the mailbox name support space mailbox and the primary smtp address is support at the gss dmvv2 dot on microsoft.com and this is going to be the new mailbox that we are going to create and just press enter and in a while you will see that it has created the mailbox and to verify just run the previous command again get dash mailbox and now you can see that newly created mailbox is now under the list which means that it has been created successfully and now we will grant all full access to specific user and allowing them to open and manage the mailbox now for this task we're going to run this command at dash mailbox permission and this is the mailbox id and this is the user id but here we need to do what we need to change this your domain.com to the jss dmvv2 dot on microsoft.com well we have done that and once you verify that all the parameters has been provided in a correct manner then press enter to run the command and here you can see the permission has been granted and it is what the full access you can see and now let a user send email as a shared mailbox so we assign send as permission and for that again we're going to use another command line that will let a user to send the email as a shared mailbox and this is the symbol command add dash recipient permission and the access right is what send as so you can see that we are using simple keywords to achieve the the task and the purpose now once you've done that you can see the status is mentioned let's verify who has access and whose permission are set on the shared mailbox and to verify that we're going to run another command which is get dash mailbox permission identity press enter and you can see that all the permissions and send ads are mentioned here and this specific user has the full access it shows so we have done this successfully now let's check the send as as well because it shows only the permission because command itself tells a story here you can see that once you're getting the mailbox permission so it will give you the stuff related to the mailbox permission but to get the detail regarding the recipient permission you need to run the get recipient permission and the identity then press enter and there you go that this user has this send as permission and access control type is allowed at this moment so here's the way these are the commands that you use to verify all the configuration you made through the powershell and now to remove the user access from the shared mailbox we are going to run two commands first for the mailbox permission and the second for remove recipient permission command lead. so let's run these commands and here in this command you can see this is this is not as much different with the previous command that we used to add the permission and here what we have changed from add to remove and then the same identity this is you know the shared mailbox this is the specific user access right full confirm false so this tells that this is going to remove this specific permission to this specific user 
Then for the send as, we are going to run the same type of command, remove touch recipient permission, identity, support at JSS DMV2, trustee is this one, and comes, confirms false. So we have removed both of the permission to the mailbox or to the recipient permission. And now it's time to remove the support dot shared mailbox support the, the mailbox that we have created now we are going to remove it and it will take single command to do that operation and here's a command remove dash mailbox identity this is you know the identity of that shared mailbox and that tells confirm false then press enter and you can see that the mailbox has been deleted and how you can verify that just run the command again, get dash mailbox, and there you go. There is no more support mailbox available here, which means that it has been deleted successfully. So that's a complete walkthrough on how to manage shared mailboxes using PowerShell. And you have seen how to create, manage, access, and clean up shared mailboxes in Microsoft 365 via PowerShell.